Hello, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Let's go ahead and head over to here and talk about compound meter. So first, let's do a quick review of what simple meter is. Um, and starting with the term meter, meter is a recurring pattern of strong and weak beats, and we put those patterns into measures. And in simple meter, for example, like in 4-4 four, four time, we have four quarter notes per measure, or four quarter note beats per measure. Each measure is the, the distance or the rhythmic value of four quarter notes. If we break each one of those quarter notes into its next quicker value, they would each break into two eighth notes. And notice that I'm beaming those together. That's because each of those groups would be in um, separate beats. So that's an example of simple meter. It's where the beats divide into two equal parts. Now, compound meter is a little bit different, but before we really get into it, let's talk about how to determine whether a meter is in simple or compound meter. And I'm going to do a little chart here. This is really good. I, I think it's a good idea to memorize this chart as quickly as possible. Notice I have 2, 3, 4 on top and 6, 9, 12 on the bottom. For quite a long time here in these videos, these are the only numbers that we will see on the top of a time signature. Note the omissions of some, like there's no 5, there's no 7, there's no 8. These are the only numbers that we will see for a very long time on the top of a time signature. So again, this is the top number. So if we have a top number of 2, this is going to be simple meter. Or 3 is also simple meter. 4 is simple meter. And then on the bottom, compound like that. So if you have a 2, 3, or 4 on top, then it's simple. 6, 9, or 12 is compound. And then I'm going to put some things on the top of this chart as well. Duple on the uh, 2 and the 6, and then I'm going to put triple, and then I'm going to put quadruple. And all that that indicates is how many beats there are. And you might think, well, isn't that redundant because the top number tells you how many beats there are? No, not always. Not in compound meter. That's true with simple meter, but compound meter is a little bit different. So as you might figure, something that's in duple meter would have two beats per measure. Something in triple would have three. So let's take a really common compound time signature, 6-8. So 6 is the top number of the time signature here, so we know that this is a compound meter. And it's a compound duple, which means that there's two beats. So notice that the 6 doesn't indicate how many beats there are. What the 6 indicates in a compound meter is how many subdivisions there are. Subdivisions per measure. Subdivisions are simply the next quicker note value. Like um, a subdivision of a quarter note is an eighth note. A subdivision of a dotted quarter note is also an eighth note. It's just whatever the faster value would be. So there are six subdivisions, but two beats. So that means that each beat is worth three of those subdivisions. Six divided by two is three. The bottom number means exactly the same thing with one little difference. I said exactly, and it's not exactly. In compound meter, that indicates the value of the subdivision. Now something that is very commonly mistaken about compound meter, and in fact I see a lot of even professional musicians make this mistake in thinking that something that's in 6-8 time has 6 beats. It does not have 6 beats, it has 2 beats which can be broken into 3 parts. So let's go ahead, and go ahead and head to a staff and very quickly show an example of a measure. Whoops, <laughs> I used my wrong pen. Um, a very quick example of a measure in 6-8 time. I'll just fill it full of eighth notes. So there will be six of them, and then I'll put stems, and then I'll beam them. So there's two beats in 6-8 time. There's one, and there's two. And you can see the subdivisions. You can count the 6 eighth notes, and you can count the beats, too, because we have beats one and two, like this. So the big difference between simple and compound, in fact, really the only difference between simple and compound meter, is how many notes are in the subdivisions. In simple meter, there are two subdivisions per beat. 
And in compound meter, there are three subdivisions per beat. So the tricky thing about this is to determine first which kind of meter you're dealing with, so then you know what the numbers actually indicate. So I know that's a lot of information, but we'll have a lot of supplemental videos for this one. Just made it in time. Thank you very much.